Okay, it's Vanning Mike here with the last uh, gauge insulation. We're going to be hooking up our voltmeter today. Um, with this light up here, you can see that we've run the uh, wires through the uh, cutouts that we made in the uh, area where the dash was. We've run our um, wires back through underneath the dash. And I want to show you something here as we get these wires run over here. This is run your wire over here to the dash. Sorry about the movement of the camera. Okay, we have seen a lot of tie-ins on these other gauges and stuff. They're tying into radios, they're tying into all kinds of stuff. I'm not really trying to do all of that. Your fuse box has everything you need to do this properly. Um, so you've got your red wire and you've got a accessory. You see the word accessory down here? So I've got power accessories here that is switched. When the switch is on, uh, that powers the accessories. There's also one for battery here somewhere. Uh, I think it's down below here somewhere. Um, and that is, that is full power all the time, unless it says battery. Anyway, uh, we're gonna ground this. And there's, a place here where ground wires are if you'll notice just to the right of the fuse box you'll see all these ground wires and you'll see these prongs now these are hard to see I've got a close-up of this with my camera and I've got the ground wire and what I did was I took a female wire clip and I took a Dremel tool and I dremeled off the plastic coating and this probably could have been blue I like the red we use red for power and blue, but this is actually just going to slip on the ground. Now you can hear, you can hear the voltmeter needle clicking. And because the accessory is on, you'll get power to that. You can, you can hear that it's hot up there. So you're just going to slide on the wire clip onto the base it'll snap and now you don't have to splice into wires and run duct tape and everything else I see done this is now secure on there and what the voltmeter is hot and that's the proper way to wire up uh, any kind of uh, electrical add-on to your uh, van okay now that we've got the wires down below the dash I've got my hot wire here and I've also taken a Dremel tool and cut off the casing. It just makes pushing these in a lot easier. And uh, there is a 10 amp fuse up here for the radio. You can see it right here. And this is, if it'll come into focus, if it'll come into focus, you'll see the word RDO up here. That's a radio. And that comes on with your radio. So all you're gonna do is just slip this into the area that's on with the key on the radio. Sorry, this box dropped down. So there you are. Now you're switched to the accessories, and that voltmeter will only come on when uh, the key is on. Okay, so finishing up, your result should look like this. And that's it.